Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMind. In today's video, we are going to be exploring an equation involving the product of two quadratic functions. As always, feel free to pause the video and try it out for yourself. And if you like the content, please subscribe to this channel. In the following equation, we are given two quadratic functions. The first being x squared plus 4x plus 9 and the second is x, I'm sorry, y squared plus 6y plus 12. When you multiply these two functions together, they are equal to 15. And we are told to find the product of x multiplied by y. Without being limited to integer values for these two quadratic functions, there are endless combinations which can result in the product of 15. So, how do we explore this equation? Let's first explore the first function, x squared plus 4x plus 9. Let's go ahead and write it down. I have x squared plus 4x plus 9. Let's do something with the number 9. We are going to rewrite this as the sum of 5 and 4. In other words, this expression will become x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus 5. Then let's go ahead and focus on this part right here. We'll notice that this is actually the perfect square of x plus 2 squared followed by a plus 5 behind. If we look at what's inside the bracket, we know that x plus 2 squared must be greater than or equal to 0. Otherwise, it would result in an irrational value. This implies that x plus 2 squared plus 5 must be greater than or equal to 5. Let's go ahead and look at the second quadratic function. Again, we'll write it down. I have y squared plus 6y plus 12. We will try to rewrite 12 as the sum of 9 and 3. When we do that, we can write this expression as y squared plus 6y plus 9 plus 3. And again, if you look at the first part right here, we can turn it into a perfect square. So now we have y plus 3 squared plus 3. Just like what we have in the previous case, y plus 3 squared must be bigger than or equal to 0. Implying y plus 3 squared must be bigger, plus 3 must be bigger than or equal to 3. Let's put together what we have so far. I have this function right here and this function right here multiplied by each other is equivalent to 15. We have also established that for this particular function, the minimum value is 5, and for this function, the minimum value is 3. In other words, the only possible combination to come up with the product of 15 is 5 times 3. So, what this means is x plus 2 square plus 5 is equal to 5. x plus 2 square equal to 0 x is equal to negative 2. Likewise, on this side right here, we have y plus 3 squared plus 3 equal to 3. y plus 3 squared equal to 0. y is equal to negative 3. Don't forget we are looking for the product of x, y, which is equal to negative 3. 2 multiplied by negative 3, which is equal to positive 6. 
Thank you for watching. Happy weekend.